Hey, welcome everybody. Again, this is John Crable, lead instructor for Principles of Business, BMGT 1101. Uh, previously, we came to you from the main library here on Columbus State's campus. Now we're actually out in the, uh, the quad area uh, on a beautiful day here uh, in summer. So what I wanted to do today was I wanted to introduce our second writing assignment in this course. The first time we did research, and that's going to come back again, uh, but now we're going to apply it a little bit differently, and we're going to look at break-even analysis. And why we're actually here today is if you look behind it with the, with the taco truck getting ready to, to start serving people here in a, in a little bit, uh, I bet you that they know exactly how many burrito bowls, how many tacos that they have to sell in order to start making money every single day. And when you apply that out for on a weekly basis, monthly basis, yearly basis, I bet you they have a very clear plan about how they're going to achieve profitability. So we're going to look at break-even analysis. And another reason why this is important, is especially for business managers, but any major out there, as you go through this process, break-even is going to be something they use time and time again. So we want to introduce it first. When we look at our goals for this assignment, I think there's going to be twofold. You're going to have to make a decision between two different business options. One is going to be a hair salon located in the short north area of Columbus. The second is going to be a, go, uh, a gym, a fitness center. Uh, that could be any number of fitness centers out there. And because fitness is popular, because uh, taking care of yourself has, is a new industry and it keeps evolving, we wanted to give you the option with that too. Your goal is going to be able to not only compare the break-even numbers, uh, get the equations right, and get the information right, but also make a final decision. Do we choose the salon? Do we choose the gym? And what are the ramifications of both of those? From the decision-making standpoint, it's not just about having the information. It's about going that extra step and being able to apply that information to a quality business decision. And lastly, what resources are we going to give you for this one? Uh, one, there's going to be an executive summary video that you can use that, that we can kind of go through this process and allows you to see craft not only the executive summary but what it's going to mean for break even as well. And secondly, from a calculation standpoint, I know math can be a sticking point for a lot of people out there. We're going to walk you through that break even equation. We're going to walk you through the entire process so that there's no question of, well, when you find the ultimate answer, you're making it judgments, you're making decisions based upon quality information. So when it comes to break-even analysis, I would uh, ask you to do a couple things. Go through the process, make sure the numbers are correct. We give them to you in annual numbers. You're going to want to break it down to daily, you're going to want to break it down to weekly, you're going to want to break it down to monthly as well, depending upon what the questions are asking you. And then from my standpoint, what do I like to see from my students? I like to see that application again. I like to see you go back and make critical thinking decisions based upon actual verified data. There's going to be a lot of research. There's going to be a lot of resources out there for you, whether it is Snap Fitness, Anytime Fitness, whether you're looking at sport clips, great clips, anything like that. We want to compare them to the industry averages as well. So if you have any questions, direct them back to your instructor, and I appreciate your time and effort on the second writing assignment.